Hello the crafty friends, it's Magda here. Today I have another layout for you. Um, this time I've mixed together a couple of AB Studio collections. The base sheet is from the newest release, All the Dreams collection, and I matched it with a piece um, from Crafters Bundle. It's a sheet called um, Vintage Day. Mm, the one with frames, photos and some other cool stuff. Um, usually I secure my layouts uh, with a cardboard on the back uh, right before I start working on it. This time, um, because I wanted to cut one of the drawers to put the, one of the fussy cut uh, elements, um, I just left it like that, uh, having in mind uh, I will glue the cardboard uh, later. Mm. While the paper was drying, I started to prepare the AB Studio chipboards. These are great for mixed media techniques, uh, so as you can see, I'm not even preparing them with any kind of gesso, I just go straight ahead um, to the rust pastes. I'm using um, the set from Finnabar, starting from the brown rust. Then I wanted to match the colors to the photo I've chosen for my layout, so I'm moving to the yellow rust. And I put a bit too much, <laughs> but I don't worry about that at all. First of all, uh, these pastes get darker while they dry, uh, so it uh, won't stand up that much. And second of all, I can always go back to the brown color and tone it down a bit. At this point, I decided to use also some of the red rust for a more interesting effect. I'm a big fan of those pastes. Um, they have matte finish and are permanent. While wet, they blend well, uh, creating that um, nice shading. I left the chipboards to dry and I grabbed uh, the texture paste for my background. I'm using one of the latest Finnabuzz uh, effect pastes called Golden Dragon. It's an iridescent glitter paste uh, with different size of glitter chunks. And I know it's not the best idea to use it with such an intricate stencil, but I love both the stencil and the paste so much that I just couldn't resist. Besides, you can always uh, scrape the bigger chunks off uh, with the palette knife and uh, put them back um, to your project. So. I left the paste to air dry and decided I want to add some highlights to my chipboards, so I took some metallic wax in aged brass. Uh, this is my absolute favorite <laughs> and I'm applying it with my finger uh, in uh, some places. I didn't want to use uh, too much color. Uh, in the background as I really love uh, the papers so I decided to use a bit of liquid acrylic paint in burnt sienna to add uh, some bigger and smaller splatters and um, that will do it. <laughs> You've probably noticed I didn't prepare the paper with a clear gesso. Usually when I know I won't be using too much paste or paints I don't do that because AB Studio papers manage that amount of mediums really well. I'm trying uh, to carefully glue uh, the cardboard at the back of my uh, piece to make it more um, sturdy. Mm, trying to keep in mind, of course, I wanted to put something in the drawer, so uh, yeah. Later I will um, cut it to a proper size and ink the edges with the distress ink in walnut stain. And 
uh, with the same ink. I will distress the edges of all the fussy uh, cut elements. Um, I prepared a lot of elements from the Old Dreams collection and some pieces from uh, the Crafters bundle. I even grabbed a piece uh, of creative uh, foil. Um, for the flowers I decided to go with the beautiful roses from Somewhere collection. Uh, I think they match really well the flowers in the photo. And now's the time uh, to put the composition together. Uh, I'm starting with the clock. Mm, I'm adding a bit more of the tacky glue just to make sure it doesn't grab so quickly so I will have the chance to move the elements easily because I'm not too sure where I <laughs> want to have them. I used a lot of clocks, <laughs> seems like uh, that's one of my favorite motifs. And of course, an awful lot of flowers. Um, but I used only those I fussy cut from uh, the collection. Um, I wanted this layout to be a bit more flat, I mean, less dimensional than I usually do. And in this case, <laughs> I think the papers do all the job and I don't need to add any other embellishments.
adding some more leaves to make the whole composition more vivid. Mm, this green adds some really nice contrast. Um, then I'm grabbing a Vinabo stamp and add some impressions with Black Echar Archival, <laughs> sorry, both in the background and on the roses. I think it ties the composition together really well. And for the title, I'm using Tim Walter's stickers. I love those stickers. These are from the Halloween edition. I'll make some with splatters off the camera, unfortunately, because I um, didn't notice my uh, camera is off. And the layout is ready. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.